Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and I'm the senior taste of whiskey.com and this is my son Ben. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, today we're tasting the first of a series of three Talisker whiskies. Today the Talisker 10. The classic among like, is it, is it like, did they actually have other age statements? I think there's, there's an 18 year old, right? Yes. And, and I think 25. Yeah, and the, but that's rarely available. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, they're really, really old. Yeah. But they don't have like a 12-year-old or an 8-year-old mm. or something like that. So, so that's like their main age statement whiskey. Yeah, yeah. and mm. this appeared on the market, I think, around 1988, 1989. Mm -hmm. And before that, there had been the uh, Ascot Cellar Collection, mm -hmm. the proprietor of Talisker. And there they had a Talisker eight years old. So whenever you see a Talisker eight years old, original bottling, then it's really valuable. Mm -hmm. And we are actually tasting it because they actually have a new packaging. And what they said is that they are using, so this is the new, new design. And what they said is they use less plastic within this design. Uh, this is like uh, the old design. This is card box. It looks still like uh, like uh, really yeah, thick paper that is lacquered on. Lacquered on. I don't know how do you call that. And I don't know. Is there is there any plastic no. inside the box? No. no. <laughs> so this is has always been a metal sheet with coating, and this is yeah. I don't know how they how they reduce the plastic on here. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> and they said uh, more natural. So I think uh, our resource uh, preserving. So I think it's it's a recycling paper or card box in it. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So I think they they're going with that. And yeah, I actually didn't get into Talisca, but I've been on Sky, and Sky is a lovely island. It's a lovely island. It's uh, it's remote, but it's not as remote as other islands. And because they have a bridge. Yes, because of the bridge, you just realize that the island is just more connected to the mainland. And uh, they in the start, I, I was. Uh, on Sky in 82 the first time and there they had the bridge so we had to take the ferry from Kyle mm -hmm. of Locals over to Sky and uh, then next time there had been a bridge um, when I was there and it wasn't uh, they didn't want money for it mm -hmm. but and people tell, told me that for 10 years 12 years uh, you had to pay four pounds something mm -hmm. uh, for financing the bitch, but now they is, pay is paid, so mm -hmm. uh, it's free. Yeah, I actually had a look at the bridge before I went there and it, on the internet, on like Google Maps, that it looks actually a bit smaller than it is. So the bridge <laughs> does have a quite substantial size. Mm -hmm. And yeah. So, but to the whiskey, uh, Talisker is the oldest distillery on the Isle of Skye <laughs> since a few years before it was the only distillery <laughs> of the, on Skye. And uh, it lies a bit, a bit uh, on the western side, but not completely on the coast, but in a, well, on a saltwater lock uh, on the eastern side. So they mm -hmm. do not get the rough sea, but they have direct access to the sea. Yep. So oh. this is really a, a wholesome whiskey hour. Customers in Germany, they gave it 4.2 stars out of 112 reviews. That is quite a substantial number and quite a high number. So giving five or 4.2 stars is really, yeah, the, the people who uh, review there are really picky there. We do regularly have whiskies that have 2.7 stars, which is nah, 2.5 is maybe the bottom. There are seldomly, there are like really, really supermarket whiskies that get one star, but <laughs> <laughs> usually then they we discontinue them as well yeah. at some point. So, and Talisker is part of the original uh, classic malt of Scotland uh, series of out of six whiskies and uh, belongs to the two uh, more intense whiskies in that collection. 
and uh, Talisker lies on the Isle of Skye, so the Inner Hebridean Islands on the west coast of Scotland and uh, they have an, islas, an island style, so it's more intense than on the, uh, on the mainland and they have quite a distant smokiness in it, or well, where it is, 25-30 ppm, well, we will see soon. And uh, it has a, a chili catch or a peppery note that's always set to Talisker and that should come out from uh, the pot stills uh, and the special line arm they have. That's mm -hmm. told. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. So there's a distinct smokiness in it. Little vanilla, little sweetness, fruity. So it's not too old. You, you can feel the age of 10 years, but it's still fresh. To, uh, intense. It's 45.8 ABV. This is the standard strength they figured out when they started with the uh, classic mod of Scotland. And uh, so all of Talisker has 45.8. Um, there had been, or are they in the moment, a, a, a cast strength? Mm, not quite sure. Then they are higher or a, a high strength whiskey, but everything which is normal has 45.8 and the Telesca 10 is quite affordable priced in the lower 30s so yeah it's affordable and it's a high volume whiskey mm -hmm. i like it i like the the smokiness it's a uh, a mild smokiness what what i already feel inside that glass is a distinct spiciness yeah it's a rough islander yeah it's a rough islander with a distinct marine note and a little bit of sweetness. You said you had vanilla and, and caramel. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> probably <laughs> it should be in there. Depends on the but distance to your nose. For me, it's uh, yeah. It probably depends. For me, it's not that distinct. It's for me, it's just a a nice sweetness, a little bit of a sweetness to it, with a nice smokiness and marine flavors and spiciness, and that leaves a lot to be explored. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, there is spiciness in it. Do you have a close up for me? <laughs> There's a definite spiciness in it. And it's, yeah, it's, people say it's peppery. Uh, this time I feel it's chili, uh, chili catch in it and this uh, fills your mouth and after that there comes the sweetness and um, the the chili catch uh, softens to a uh, oaky spiciness yeah long aftertaste with a with a smokiness in it and cladding your mouth intense long yeah mm. Mm. It's as I remember it from the, the live tasting, it's just a nice, intense, spicy whiskey with a, a good strength of smoke. I think I, I was uh, overwhelmed how smoky it was during the live tasting because it's, it's said to be a medium smoky, mm -hmm. um, but f still feels like... It, it has a good amount of smoke. It's not just light whiff of smoke. It's, yeah, definitely medium, but mm -hmm. medium is more stronger than I, I remember. But I do love the the spiciness, the peppery, the chili. Is it pepper? Is it chili? Mm -hmm. For me today, it's a, it's a peppery. Mm -hmm. I think last time I said more was a chili, but this, this time it feels more like a pepper. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely a very spicy whiskey and you should be very careful if you uh, taste this in conjunction with other whiskies, so put this more or less in to the end, to the last whiskey. Mm. Otherwise, this spiciness may well may be too strong for other whiskies without this spiciness following. Mm. Yeah. So we today uh, we're, we're taking um, uh, another um, Talisker, and it should be spicy as well, <laughs> so that we did no, do not interfere uh, between these. Mm. Oh, I like it. 
Mm. It's a it's a heavy one. It's a, a really a one that you have to to savor. You have to enjoy, concentrate on because it's just such a a strong flavor. I would really like to know what the the bar industry thinks about that because they are into really spicy stuff. So this would be a nice alternative to rye. Mm -hmm. But it has a such a distinctive other kind of spiciness than rye. Yeah. Yeah. So this uh, is, 100% is said to come from barley. the, from the uh, distilling process and the rye mm -hmm. comes from the ingredients. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely a malt whiskey, malted barley, but it it's just incredibly spicy how, how, how you can actually develop set that with some pot stills is, is amazing. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that's it for today. Yeah, that was it with our take from the Talisker 10 years old, the new design. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.